Today we have a printed three-part mould. So there's the pouring basin and then there's the insert. And I made a couple. One's got, uh, they're both coin dies for coin blanks. One's got thick reading, one thinner one. And all you do is you place them in like that and it clamps together so you can pour from the top pull it apart and pop out your casting so a three-piece die we'll see how that works so someone came up with this idea um, I've put my vibrating tumbler on the bowl so that it'll do this just to see if it's going to help with knocking little air bubbles out and those sort of things. We're going to pour pewter, 275, but with mild vibration. Right, turn vibration on. You can just feel it's just gentle. It's a bit more enthusiastic. We're in the mid 270s. I'm try a shorter fill. While I'm at it, less pressure though. Enough vibration. See what we've got. Ooh, looks glossy on the top. Hoo hoo hoo, winner, winner chicken dinner that is looking pretty good mold vibration not a huge sprue i've chucked these ones just into the tumbler they came out pretty good they need a bit of polishing work so i did that on the third one and I'm not sure if it, the shiny stuff's going to come out but as you can see they shine up well You've got a good amount of reading around the edge. It's nice and deep. And that's ready for laser engraving, stamping or whatever you want to do with a coin blank.